Hi, I'm Carly and I am the Nature and Conservation Intern here at Conica Jig Institute. So it's a little bit windy today, so hopefully you can hear me, but the plant we're going to be spotlighting today is Asian Bittersweet. Asian Bittersweet is an invasive plant that came from Asia and it's spreading throughout the East Coast and pushing out and displacing native plants. So we're going to take a look at what it is, how to identify it, and most importantly, how to get rid of it. So to start, I mentioned that Asian or Oriental bittersweet was an invasive. Let's take a look at what it means to be an invasive versus a native. So let's start with native plants. Native plants are indigenous species that naturally inhabit and involve within a particular region and therefore are well adapted to the ecological conditions within that area. They play a key role in maintaining the health and balance within an ecosystem by providing essential resources such as food and habitat for native wildlife. Native plants also support biodiversity by supporting ecosystem interactions across the food web. So now that we know what a native plant is, let's look at the definition of an invasive plant. An invasive plant is any plant that is introduced to an area, meaning it is not from that area originally. It's as simple as that. With that being said, Asian bittersweet or oriental bittersweet is surprise from the continent of Asia, as you can see within its name. It was introduced to America in 1860 as an ornamental plant. By 1974, it had spread to up to 33 states within America. Let's take a look at characteristics of an Asian bittersweet and how to spot it. So, the leaves of an Asian bittersweet plant are usually round or oblong with mild serration. They also contain berries in the fall that have a yellow casing, and when the fruit is ripe, the berry inside kind of bursts open. Due to the berry's bright red and yellow appearance, this makes this plant a popular material choice for wreaths around fall time, which is one of the ways that this plant unintentionally spreads. People buy the wreaths as decoration, and then the seeds from the berries disperse. Sometimes animals can pick them off of the wreath, or just by transportation to and from places, the seeds fall off and they spread throughout the environment. Another way that this plant spreads is through its aggressive root systems. So this plant will actually multiply by its roots. Um, the roots have a orange color. So when you're pulling up a bittersweet, if the roots are orange in color, that's another giveaway that you have the right plant. Going back to the vocabulary that we learned at the beginning of the video, there is a native plant look-alike to Asian bittersweet. So we're going to compare the two just in case you're ever concerned about eradicating the wrong plant. So American bittersweet is a native. It would be okay to have around as compared to the Asian bittersweet, which we want to get rid of. So American bittersweet has longer leaves than Asian bittersweet. As I mentioned, Asian bittersweet has round leaves where American bittersweet has longer leaves. In American bittersweet, the flowers and the fruits are also at the end of the stem versus oriental bittersweet has flowers and fruits along the leaf axles, which are throughout the plant. Another characteristic that distinguishes between the two are the stems of American bittersweet. When they are mature, they have a smoother stem, as where Asian bittersweet has a rougher bark stem type of characteristic. So let's look at the removal methods, cutting and pulling. When pulling the plant, you're gonna wanna pull it young. The plant gets harder to pull the older it gets. But when you pull it young, that's by far one of the most successful removal techniques. So if you have a plant that's more mature in age, it's going to be harder to pull. Therefore, you would have to cut it. Now, when cutting this plant, you don't wanna cut below the soil like you would think. The root system is aggressive and it can spread by roots. So if you're cutting below the soil line, that actually gives the plant potential to spread even faster and more aggressively. So to remove this plant, you wanna cut an inch or two above the soil line. So the next part of the video is going to be what it looks like to go out in real life and identify and remove Asian bittersweet, especially here at CI. So the video you're about to see is an example of me going around here at the Kanaka Jig Institute, identifying Asian bittersweet and how I remove it. Hi, so here we have an invasive pile. I've gone and removed a lot of invasives, a lot of weeding this morning. 
um, one of the invasives in this pile. Maybe you know it, maybe you don't. Asian bittersweet. Asian bittersweet is an invasive vine from Asia. Um, what it does is it spreads and it just kind of chokes out trees. The vine climbs around trees, other plants, likes to choke things out. So how did I identify this? As you can see, this is the leaf. This is what the leaf looks like to Asian bittersweet. I think that this leaf is distinctive looking enough. Um, as you can see, the leaf is super round. Um, it has a very oblong leaf shape, um, more ovalish toward the bottom, but as you get toward the outer edge, it really starts to circle out. And so it gives it kind of this awkward shape. Um, if you look around the edges, the edges have mild leaf serration. And if you don't know what serration means, if you think of a serrated knife and how it has all those edges, that's what leaf serration resembles. So that's how I've identified this by leaf. Another key indicator is at this time of year in the autumn, Asian bittersweet gets these yellow berries. Um, now this is just an outer coating. The berries themselves are actually red on the inside. The yellow is just a yellow shell. So let me show you what it looks like when they open up. So when the shells open up, you get that red berry. And I will flip the camera around in a minute so you can see more of the plant. As you can see, a bunch of yellow skins, red berries. These are the leaves, more of that oblong pattern. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. But yeah, so here I found a younger bittersweet. Um, I've identified this by just taking a look at the leaves, round oblong leaf. And then this one, luckily enough, had some berries. So now that we've identified this is a bittersweet, we can remove it. So successful removal of a bittersweet involves chopping the base of the plant an inch above the soil. So what I would do is I would take these loppers, find the base of the plant. You would then cut an inch above the soil line. Now, why is it important to cut an inch above the soil line? So with these plants, if you actually cut into the soil line or at the root, which you may think is more effective, um, you could actually make the plant spread more aggressively and faster. I know when I was researching, I would thought, oh, maybe cutting it at the base of the root would be better. But with research, this plant actually does the opposite. When it gets cut at the root, the roots just multiply faster and come back stronger. So it's important to cut an inch above the soil line. And you're going to want to do this year after year for about three years. And this is me after I removed a huge pile of Asian bittersweet from the native rock garden here at the Conica Jig Institute. Um, I know you've seen this plant so much by the end of this video, but familiarizing yourself is the best way to get confident in removing the right thing. So here's some more of it. There was a lot, so the native plants are going to be very happy now. Okay, we've made it to the end of the video. If you stuck around, Thank you. You're now ready to go out and remove Asian bittersweet within the community and become an ecological warrior.